Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Tokyo, Japan, and I'm here with my friend David, the hungry tourist, on his best of Tokyo tour. And we're gonna take you on a ramen tour of Tokyo, eat some of the, the best bowls of ramen that you can eat. So I'm looking forward to the ramen, and I'm gonna share it all with you in this video. We're in Ginza to start off this ramen tour and you come off the, the road and you come down a little side alley, down a, a vending machine side alley and this is the spot right here. This is a uh, Kagori. This is one of the, uh, the most famous and most popular uh, uh, ramen spots in uh, Tokyo. Uh, uh, chicken soup, which is called uh, Tori Paitan. Okay. And they're apparently doing the best. Exactly on time, like to the to the millisecond, they open the doors and we're coming in. Thank you, arigatou gozaimasu. Oh wow! Are you think some of that? Uh, this is a special uh, spice mix from Kyoto. Very special, and this is my number one favorite spice mix in Japan. Yes. There are only eight stools, only eight places to eat in here. So. Um, if you don't make that first cut, then you have to wait until all of us finish our bowl and then get in here. But what I like about this place is that a lot of the Japanese bars are all, um, it's like in a line, but this is in a square shape. So you kind of like, you feel like you're eating at a table, yet you're still at the bar counter. It's pretty cool. The first step before you get your ramen, you gotta save your shirt. Yeah. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping not to make any drips on this at all. I'm gonna eat every single drip. We are live now okay. <laughs> from Kagori. We are seated. As you can see, eight seats only. And everything uh, inside your mouth, like. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. One more thing. I know. It's uh, for, uh, I ordered the classic. This is chicken based ramen. Oh, it's, it's really like, it's like kind of whitish yellow in color because of that chicken stock. And then it's, it's just absolutely artfully beautiful. The, the noodles are all sitting on the bottom. They're just submerged in that. It's actually like the broth is so thick that it's like foamy. So Shinji has explained to me that the, the only number one rule about eating ramen yeah. is you have to taste the broth first. Yeah. That's, the, that's like one of your only rules when you're eating a, a bowl of ramen. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta kind of work that broth, enjoy that broth. Because the broth is the broth is is really one of the uh, the most important factors of ramen. You just taste like pure chicken. That's like condensed chicken broth with like a thick, yeah, almost like foamy texture to it. What's amazing about that broth is that you just immediately know it's chicken. And now for the noodles. Oh, they're so hot. They're like the perfect like chewy texture, but they're, they're soft at the same time, just slightly gummy. And then that, that, that broth is so thick that, and, and kind of sticky that it actually just clings to the noodles. Yeah. What's that good? You know, I've... That chicken actually melts in your mouth. Oh, it's so soft and so tender. Next, I'm gonna add some of this spice, and Shinji said this is his favorite spice mixture. You can either go, go from this side where you get a little bit out, but you can open the bottom cork to get a lot out. I'm going bottom. Oh, yes. All right. Oh, I can't wait for that spice. Mm. 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 
Mm. It's like pepper, but more. And like, mm. oh, that spice is incredible. Oh, oh yeah, that was definitely uh, a new kind of chicken ramen experience. That broth was just like foamy and thick and just extraordinary. Hello. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How was it? Really good. Wow, the line stretches down the street. One ramen down, we are now walking to the next ramen shop. Again, it's down a quiet alley, but you have a, a little ramen haven right here. And this, they, they specialize in a type of sake ramen. And this is a type of ramen I've never tried before, so I'm especially excited to try this one. This is just really another back alley Tokyo dining gem. I love places like this because you can be walking out on the road in Tokyo and it's so busy, it's so, so many people walking around, but you come down one of these alleys and you find a, a little restaurant. It's, it's really like a little, a little, a little culinary haven. Hello. This is another closet sized ramen shop. There's just eight stools in here, eight people can eat in here, and it's a nice little friendly place. This is another cool ramen spot. another just stunningly beautiful bowl of ramen to look at and he's so like they're chefs uh, making this ramen they're doing an amazing job and they they boil the soup it looks so thick and like a gravy almost and then he boils the noodles puts them in uh, and then he just artfully creates assembles the bowl there are some pieces of chashu in there there are uh, there's a, a half of a soft-boiled egg and what's really amazing about it is as you're sitting here waiting for your bowl to be assembled you can smell like that that faint aroma of sake that that like rice aroma to it okay I gotta taste that broth well it's thick oh oh that that is like the texture of gravy oh man but it's really really rich and you can taste that undertone of like a you can taste the sake in there yeah oh, it's salty like that it's like that perfect saltiness where it's almost too salty but like addictively deliciously salty yeah you could definitely chew that broth okay let's try those noodles next and they're like a, a little bit of like a thicker round noodle Again, really nice and chewy. Yeah, uh, this one is green chili. Yes, green chili and and it's ginger. Ginger. Yes. Okay. 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 So there's two condiments. Let me show you over here. Um, one is like a a green chili sauce. Yes, definitely. I'll add this in here. Oh, and by the way, that's saffron on the bowl of ramen as well. Grated up ginger. Oh yes. I will not miss the opportunity for some of this. Okay, again, mix that up. I really want to try that entire that entire blob of, of green chili and, and ginger. Oh, oh it's so hot. Mm. Oh, with that green chili. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, mm -hmm. that matches perfectly. Okay, that green chili. I'm gonna need to re-up on that. And the bite that I just cannot wait for, that piece of, I think it's pork, I think it's chashu, with all that saffron on it. You've gotta get a close-up look at this though. You can already see it's just oozing with tenderness. Oh. 
It was amazing. And I had a bunch of ginger on that bite. That ginger is so nice and sweet and mild. The broth was more like a gravy, really, and it had almost like a, a French cooking like appearance to it. It tasted tasted like a like a wine sauce almost. With that, that that's what the essence of the sake came through in that broth. Uh, but that was really good, and that was that's a pretty heavy bowl of ramen because that that gravy also is filling. Okay, we are on our way to one more ramen to complete this little Ginza ramen tour with David. And yeah, the, list, the, the next one's gonna be good as well. This is gonna be ramen number three. This is gonna complete this lunchtime Tokyo ramen tour, three back-to-back -to -back bowls. And this is the spot right here. They're doing a little bit of construction on both sides of the, the restaurant, but right in between, this is the ramen spot. Hello. Along with eating the ramen here, one of the best things about coming to this ramen shop is that you can watch them make the noodles and they make them fresh for every single bowl. So when you order a bowl of noodles, you can be assured you're getting fresh noodles. Actually, once he chops them up, oh nice, that's one portion of the noodles. He chops them up and he weighs them for your portion of noodles. Um, so yeah, you're getting, you are getting a freshly chopped, freshly made bowl of noodles. With egg? Uh, with egg, yes. Uh, you can either order the salt ramen or the shoyu ramen. I got the shoyu ramen, and so it's soy sauce based. And then you can, yeah, you can see those noodles. Actually, on the top, it looks like some some finely cut bamboo shoots. There's some soft boiled eggs and some pieces of pork chashu. And then you can see those noodles are very very wrinkly, and they're not they're not like. Um, you can tell that they're not they're not produced by a machine. They are the, the real deal. And again, I gotta start with the broth. Compared to the other uh, ramens that I've had today, this is very a very thin soup. This is actually a soup as compared to a like gravy thickened sauce. Mmm. Mmm, I like it. Perfectly salty. There's that like bite of umami and it sort of has a, a little bit of a fish seafoody taste to it. Just check out the, the wrinkly crinkliness of these noodles. Those are beautiful. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Those are some real slurpers noodles right there. Oh yeah, those noodles definitely win. They are, you can taste the gumminess of the freshness of them. Really, really like clean tasting, really smooth tasting. And then you've got the, I like, I like how the, the broth is relatively like clean and plain, uh, which just like complements the noodles very well. Oh yeah, that's, that looks like it's gonna enhance everything. Oh. Really hot. Mm -hmm. That pepper is actually incredible. It's pepper, but then it does have a little bit of an extra seasoning as well. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the, the perfect seasoning to complement this bowl of noodles. Okay, next up I'll one bite this half a egg. The yolks like that are just insane. So creamy. And just, even the white is creamy.
Thank you. I think I got everything. All right. Yep. That one was was really awesomely good. I, I really love the freshness of the noodles, and I, I really like some of those lighter lighter brothy soups, uh, like the shoyu shoyu style. That was really clean tasting, really good, really quality noodles. So that is gonna do it for this Tokyo ramen tour. And something that's really fascinating about ramen is that it's a relatively new modern Japanese food. And so there are not so many like traditions associated with it. And that's why you find so many unique variations and creative types of ramen. And I think it's also a, a dish that continues to evolve. People try new things. There are, are constantly new and different unique ramens to try. Uh, but I hope this video will give you some ideas of some different ramen to try when you're in Tokyo. I want to say a big thank you to David, the hungry tourist, uh, for taking me to all of these ramen spots on his Best of Tokyo tour. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. I'm going to be sharing lots more food and travel videos with you. Goodbye from Tokyo. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.